let's start off with the Iowa Hawkeyes. And, of course, Kirk Ferentz, a fantastic job last season. Hit the over for me, so that was certainly good. Uh, last year, 10-4, and four, and here we'll scroll that down just a bit. Uh, but one thing that is concerning here, obviously, the postgame win expectancy for them last season only added up to uh, not quite seven wins. So they played 13 games in the regular season, uh, one of them being the Big Ten championship game, which was a complete and total disaster against Michigan. Uh, this team was uh, interesting. So let's uh, let's start off. Let's talk about the uh, projected SP plus record, which is seven and five this year. But if you look, uh, their win total seven and a half. They are projected favorites in only four games this year. I mean that is just abysmal. Uh, not what you would expect from a team that's you know number thirty in returning production and and won ten games last year. But again, that issue with the postgame win expectancy. 6.73 wins last year and 6.27 losses. Uh, turnovers were a big, big portion of that. We're going to talk about that in keys to the season here in just a bit. So let's start off with the offense. It was atrocious last year. PPA per drive was number 125 on offense. Rushing success rate, number 106. Passing success rate, number 116. Uh, offensive explosive uh, play rate was number 105. I mean, it was you you could not get worse than this offense last year, and yet they found a way to win 10 ball games. Uh, the offensive coordinator, Brian Ferentz, he's taken over quarterback coaching duties as well. Uh, but, I mean, my gosh, uh, with an offense as bad as what he was last year, uh, you would have to assume that uh, giving him the, the quarterback coaching duties uh, probably wouldn't be my first option, honestly. Uh, the quarterback, Spencer Petrus and Alex Padilla are back. But, I mean, my gosh, were they bad. Number 116 overall success rate. Um, I mean, they were, they were number 122 in passing PPA per play. Like, it's just, and a PPA is predicted points added, by the way. Uh, you do have four starting offensive linemen back, but you are missing the center, uh, Linderbaum. Running back Gavin Williams takes over. And plenty of wide receiver experience here, but you got to have somebody that's going to get them the ball. I don't know what to think about how bad this offense was last year, and it doesn't look like there were a ton of changes. So... Can you be as successful as you were last year? Uh, the roster strength on offense is number 93 in the country. Uh, they are number 75 overall. Defense is number 40. So at least they've got, you know, one side of the ball is a strength. But, man, uh, just the offense was awful last year as far as the defense goes. Defensive coordinator Phil Parker, national treasure. He is an absolute legend. He is going to field a good unit every year regardless. The linebacking core is deep. Cornerbacks are elite. Defensive line and safety are going to be fine. Uh, there are certain key players back, including the defensive backs, uh, Moss and Merriweather. Linebacker Campbell is back along with three defensive linemen. But they do lose defensive end, Valkenberg, cornerback Hankins, safety Kerner, and Belton. All those guys are gone. Defense was number four in takeaways per game last year. They were number 11 in rushing PPA, number 16 in passing PPA. Can you maintain that elite level uh, that they did last year without some of those star players? I would imagine that they are going to be just fine on that side of the ball, if only because I trust the defensive coordinator a whole lot. Uh, that's what this team is founded on. I mean, that's what they are built on. That's their identity is a tough, swarming, aggressive defense. They will continue to be so this year. Uh, keys to the season here. Uh, again, the win total is 7.5. Uh, they are plus 450 to win the division. It, I mean, I... This does not look like a team that, that could win the division again. And yet, they won it last year with a lot of the same bunch. So, I, they were plus 19 in turnovers in 10 wins last year. And in the four losses, they were minus 7. So, when they didn't turn the ball over and they were actually able to generate turnovers, yeah, they were able to win games. When they didn't and they turned the football over, they had four losses and they were kind of lopsided. So, uh, the offense, number 45 in scoring opportunities, but number 121 in points per scoring opportunity, they just could not get into the end zone. I mean, the fact that they were number 45 in drives inside the opponent's 40-yard line, and yet number 121 in points per drive, that is insane. Absolutely insane. Number seven in turnover margin is going to have to be maintained again unless there's some kind of change on offense. Uh Again, I brought it up earlier, post-game win expectancy last year. That's a bit of a cause for concern. Is that luck? Is that coaching? 
Uh, kind of makes you wonder. Kind of makes you wonder. I've got this team going seven and five this year. It would not surprise me to see them drop all the way down to like six and six because the schedule is pretty damn difficult. They've got Ohio State on this thing this year. Uh, it's, I mean, it's rough. It is pretty rough. Uh, you do get Iowa State coming in, and and everybody knows that Iowa just always beats Iowa State regardless of the circumstance. But uh, but yeah, I've got them at seven and five. I I think they're going to be okay because I trust the foundation that Kirk Ferentz has built. But I don't imagine that they are going to be improved from last season. I will certainly say that. I don't think they're going to be any better than they were last year. Uh, it's going to take some big-time changes. Uh, they were number five in penalties per game, number seven in turnover margins, so this team did not beat themselves. If they can continue to do that, yeah, I mean, I guess the sky is the limit. But, man, uh, that what they did last year, uh, minor miracle. Minor miracle. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.